hidden danger that has spiked in recent years, the shipment of hazmat cargo in ocean containers. I'm Paula Eben. And I'm Chris Tanaka. Yeah, the industry has seen an uptick in ship fires, which has led to serious concerns about the high-risk cargo. The I-team's chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, went looking for answers. When the shipping lines don't know what's in the container, it can be extremely dangerous. Any of these incidences uh, has got the potential for significant loss of life, uh, loss of property and damage to the environment. That explosion risk is really uh, quite frightening. Ninety percent of traded goods are shipped by sea. Ten percent contain what's called dangerous goods, according to the World Shipping Council. So what are dangerous goods? Hazmat cargo can be anything from explosives and chemicals to paint and lithium-ion batteries. Regulations require a manifest of what's inside the containers and that the goods are properly packed. When the rules are followed, shipments usually arrive safely, but when they're not... They're seeing cargo fires on their vessels roughly, uh, you know, occurring at a rate of once a week. And any of these incidences uh, has got the potential, you know, for significant uh, loss uh, of life, uh, loss of property and damage to the environment. Recently, a number of serious incidents on container ships sparked widespread industry concern about the high-risk cargo and what can be done to make it safer. It's impossible to inspect every container. It has to be targeted. Ian Leonard is the president of National Cargo Bureau, a nonprofit organization that works with carriers and the Coast Guard. To find out what was causing the ship fires, the organization conducted 500 container safety inspections. Of those, 158 were labeled dangerous goods heading to the U.S. When you did the inspections, what did you find? 70% failed. We found pose serious safety risks to the ship cargo and crew. People are doing this to save money so they don't declare it. You know, is it a bicycle or is it an e-bike? Oh, it costs me more if I put the E in front of it. It's just a bike. 100% of the trucks that leave this container yard get scanned for radiation. Here in Boston, Customs and Border Protection agents are looking for criminal danger and gave the I-Team an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at its security that starts before the ships pull in. We have our people overseas in these foreign ports. We look at the manifest ahead of time, and we feel there may be some, something in there based on um, our targeting in our intel that we have we'll have them open the container in that country before it's even loaded on the ship so it never gets over to here massport says in 2022 nearly 174,000 containers passed through the conley terminal every one of them was scanned for radiation it could be something as simple as granite granite countertops that you have in your house granite gives off natural radiation or it could be something more sinister one of the things that we could be looking for um, is a dirty bomb. Containers that are singled out for further scrutiny go through an x-ray truck. We watched while the driver of a tractor trailer got out and waited for agents to check the images of what was inside before giving the all clear and letting the shipment go. While law enforcement is doing its part on the anti-terrorism front, some carriers have increased fines for bad shippers, and there are calls for tougher international laws. It has to be like, oh my God, I got caught. So there has to be, you know, ramifications for, for doing something intentionally and doing something malicious for sure. The National Cargo Bureau says it's planning a second round of container safety inspections in June. Meantime, the industry is taking action to make the ships safer, using technology to identify undeclared dangerous goods and detect problems before a fire breaks out. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.